short one because I need to leave off of work in the next 30 minutes and two because it's not really that much to tell about this story but I just wanted to share the story now before I get into it I do want to say if you are watching this video please do not try to do this at home don't try to pierce your own nose just if you want to pierce if you're under the age of 18 and would like to pierce your own own nose as your parent or guardian and if they say no most of the time it's for the better just wait trust me you'll be 18 sooner or later like it's going to come fast so just wait till you're 18 but this is my story about how I pierced my own nose so when I went to school and everybody was getting their nose pierced I was just like dang I want to get my nose pierced but I knew my grandmother was not about to have that like I couldn't even dye my hair y'all until I was in high school so I definitely was not about to get my nose pierced so then I was like, okay me being the what was I I don't know I always just wanted to do things like I, I didn't care what nobody said I was gonna do it if I wanted to do it so one night I decided I was gonna pierce my own nose y'all like I said don't do this at home I literally was in my sister's room and I was like, you know what I think I want to do? I'm going to pierce my nose. She was just like, shut up. No, you're not. I was like, yes, I am. So I found a safe, not a safety pin. Is it a safety pin? The ones you put in your clothes. I found a safety pin and I was smart enough to go get the alcohol pads from downstairs. And I wiped, I like, you know, I cleaned the safety pin off. I wiped my nose off. And then I was like, okay, we're going to do this. So I want to say it was on this side. Yeah, because you see that hole right there? Oh, my face. is something on my face like. Y'all see that? Anyway, we'll just focus on the nose right now. But it was right here. And what I had did was I took the safety pin and I started pushing it in. <sighs> Y'all, I don't know why I did this. Thank goodness it did not get infected or anything. But anyway, back to the story. This is her. So I put it in and I don't want, I want to show y'all how I did it. Okay, so basically, I'm going to use this as this is a regular pin, but I'm not going to do this. I just want to show y'all how I did it. So, I took the safety pin. Of course, the safety pin was really smaller than this. I put it on there and just started pushing it through. And it would not go through for nothing. So, what I started doing was I pushed it and I, like, flared my nose out. <laughs> it's so funny I'm telling this story because nobody knows the story other than the people that I, that I either told or that was in high school with me. I mean, middle school with me. I was in 7th seventh, seventh grade or 8th grade. It was one of them. So, like, my mom, she's going to be watching this video. Hey, mom. And she's going to be like, really? I'm like, but, <laughs> like I said, nobody knows about this. Um, but the people that was at my school. So then, I kept on, like, trying to push it in. And I flared my nose out. That way, it'll kind of get it to be harder. That way, like, it'll just, like, go kind of through. Um, I don't know. I just know it kind of worked. So, I pushed it all the way and it was like halfway in and I was like, oh, like I was, I was so, it felt like it was like 30 minutes of me doing this. Cause I was just like, it just was not going through it. I turned around, my sister was like, really Shayla? And I'm just like, I really just wanted to get it through. So I finally got it through, took it out, but I didn't have no nose piercings. So instead of me trying to go to the store and find a nose piercing or something, I just <laughs> took an earring. I tried to find the little, the smallest earring that we had. And I put the earring in there. Y'all couldn't tell me nothing. I thought I was the S-H-I-T when I went to school the next day. I had my little outfit on. I said, oh yeah, my time my nose pierced or whatever. No. So, I end up going to school the next day. And had the nose piercing in my nose. Um, mind you, I took a whole bunch of pictures that night in my little pajamas. It was, I had also, y'all... If I could find these pictures, I'm probably not gonna be able to. But if I can find them, I'm gonna put them up here. I had so many pictures out. I had a little the little white shirt on with the um it was like these pajama pants that was uh Mountain Dew. I don't remember if y'all remember when like the pajama pants were out that it had like the 
uh, different soda brands. I don't know, but I know I had Mountain Dew and my sister had Pepsi. So I had a little Mountain Dew pencil with this little, uh, it was kind of a white fitted top. And I was just like, yeah, so I took a whole bunch of pictures and posted on, was I on Facebook then? I think, I, I don't know. It was something back then. So I thought I was cute, y'all. Y'all couldn't, I, like I said, nobody could tell me nothing. We're just going the next day. Everybody's talking about something. Oh, you got your nose pierced. Oh, you got your nose pierced. Look at your grown self. It's like, whatever. Mm. And I got my nose pierced, so leave me alone. You don't got your nose pierced. So, <laughs> then one of my teachers who has her, she has a bunch of piercings. Well, not, they were classy on her. But she had, like, her nose pierced. She had her, uh, she had a piercing, like, right here. It looked nice on her. Like, it, she, it never really, um, it didn't make her look any different she looked nice she had like ear piercings you know different piercings and stuff so she made the comment she was like who pierced your nose all this other stuff so you know I, i'm not about to say myself because i didn't want her to call my grandmother I'm like my aunt did da, da, da. And she was like well you need to get uh because it was getting dark it was kind of dark around like the circle bar she was like you need to um go to the What'd she say? She said, you need to go to the like the piercing place and to like get the stuff that way you can clean it and then uh, get a get an actual uh, ring or something. Cause I I said I made up a story say I lost my piercing or something. I don't know. And I was like I just put it in there like you know that way it can stay in there or whatever. Because clearly no, it's not an earring that's gonna be small enough like a nose piercing. Like they look like two different things. So I'm just like yeah, cause then you, when you looked at my nose, you could see a little like how to the earring was like a stick. I don't know. So I was just like, oh, okay, I'll go do it and stuff like that. Uh huh. Da, 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 da. Knowing dang well, I'm not about to do all of that. So, I mean, I cleaned it and stuff, cleaned it with alcohol. But y'all, so almost got caught like two times. One, I walked in the house and forgot it was in my nose. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Mind you, I was taking this in and out, taking the nose piercing out, putting it in and out, like, you know. Well, it wasn't a nose piercing; it was an earring piercing. I was taking the uh, taking it out and putting it in and stuff. So it wanted to like, you know, when your body wants to heal and it starts scabbing and stuff. Like the first phase is like clear, so that's what it kept doing. But I kept putting it in and out, so it couldn't really heal properly. It was crazy. So, like I said, the first time I almost got caught because I walked in the house and forgot that I freaking had the nose piercing in. Was about to turn the corner to say hey to my grandpa, my grandfather, and then I was like, oh shoot! So I pulled it out, and I'm happy I remember because then I don't know what would happen. But um, the second time, my aunt was over here, and she basically was um, <laughs> she basically she was just like standing in there, standing in the living room. And I went to go say hey to her and stuff. And I had the piercing biggest day in my nose, y'all. And I was like, hey, stuff like that. She saw it. And I took it out like this. And I'm talking, talking, talking. And my grandpa. My grandfather didn't see it. But she did. So I guess when I went back upstairs, she made a comment. Oh, Shannon has a nose piercing. My grandpa was like, no, she has no nose piercing. The reason I found out about that was because uh, a few days later because my face was breaking out kind of bad at the time and my grandparents were saying something and my grandfather said yeah because um your aunt thought that you had a nose piercing and stuff and i said no it was just it's probably just a pimple like charles just thought it was a nose and they laughed it off i was like oh my freaking goodness but that was the second time i was caught I don't think I really got caught other than that. Like like I said, the rest of that week, I was just like trying to put it in and put it out. Some people, like, well, of course, of course my teachers, I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them that, oh, yeah, I did it myself because I didn't want them to, like, you know, um, call home and stuff. But most of my friends, and I was like, yeah, I did it myself because I wanted to know piercing and stuff. Everybody was like, you grown, all that other stuff. Like, what you got on? Um, you got a nose piercing, y'all. I thought I was grown. I was freaking, how old was I? Like 12, thinking I'm grown with a nose piercing. I advise y'all, don't get nose piercings unless you're going to, um, just don't do any piercings yourself. Go to a piercing uh, tattoo shop and make sure they do it. Like I said, if your parents say no or your parents or guardians say no, most of the time it's for the better and they're saying it for a reason. So, just wait, like I said, you'll be 18 like that. I'm 19 now, and I'm just like, really? 
and now I don't even want to know what Pierce has. So <laughs> it's kind of weird, but yeah, that's my um nose piercing story. Um, I end up taking it out after like a week and just letting it heal. But you still, like I said, you still can see the little dot from it right there. And some people say, oh, you had a nose piercing when you was in your room. Like, yeah, I did it myself and it didn't last long. But yeah, that's my little nose piercing story. So, hope you all enjoyed that story. And I'll be back with a lot some more videos. I have a lot of things um, planned for my channel. It's just been a lot going on right now with trying to wrap up my senior year as well as um getting prom stuff and graduation stuff and you know things like that and just trying to keep my grades on point as well as um if you don't know I work I do kind of work full time um so it's like it's a lot going on right now but I am going to keep getting my videos out I have another video um I want to do probably very soon because I do want to talk I have a a few shade talks I need to talk about to get off my chest as well as have um beauty videos coming up and yeah so I'll talk to you all very soon and hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video um we are at 213 subscribers and we're going to keep growing as a family and I'm just so excited thank you all for watching thank you all for liking this um thumbs up this video or these videos um thank you for sharing my videos thank you for being a big support uh, yeah i'll talk to you all soon bye dolls in a place you spend some time away now you need to fall but give me on a work 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 is that